From the basketball court to the courtroom, several high-profile cases made headlines this week. In Lake County, a Zion man is in jail for killing his daughter and her best friend, but he may be exonerated through DNA. In Will County, the Drew Peterson trial was put on hold while prosecutors pursue an appeal. And then in Chicago, there's the Blago saga, where it's something new every day. All right, joining us now to sort of break all this down is our buddy defense attorney, Tom Glasgow. So let's start with Jerry Hobbs. He's the guy who was accused, he's the father in the Illinois, right. in Zion, Illinois, up in Lake County, who has been in jail for five years, accused of killing his daughter and her friend. Now, we know the DNA uh, from the daughter matched a guy in Virginia. So why is it, and why is it that he is still in jail? What, what, what's up with that? Especially since the prosecution found out two years ago that at least it didn't match him. Because, first of all, he confessed to the crime. And a confession for most people, jurors and judges alike, is an extremely powerful thing. You end up having a person who confesses to a crime confessing to something that they that is absolutely against their interests that they committed this heinous crime and you have to take that into consideration as both a prosecutor and a judge as to whether or not to release someone but two years dna evidence that you know didn't match for two years that that's pretty strong as well people now are thinking forensically because of all these shows if nothing else Correct. And w what we have here in Illinois is it, since, you know, we've started uh, the exonerations, and everyone knows about the exonerations from death rows and didn't commit a certain crime. However, because he confessed to the crime and the DNA is not his, it doesn't exclude the fact that he acted in concert with someone else. Mm -hmm. And that's probably what the state's attorney is investigating right now to determine if he acted alone or if he acted with others. If the evidence shows that he acted alone, clearly it was not him. Okay, all right, well, let's move on to Drew Peterson. Okay. Always love talking about Drew Peterson. We thought he might get out of jail when the prosecution asked to appeal a hearsay ruling, but the judge said, no, you're not getting out of jail. But explain to us how he could have perhaps gotten out. Well, he could have gotten out under uh, Supreme Court Rule 604 if a person is on trial and the state appeals a decision by the court, then the person shall not be held in custody, shall not be held on bond, absent compelling circumstances. Judge White in his ruling found compelling circumstances, but did not elaborate on those compelling circumstances. The fact that the Will County prosecutor is going for this appeal, does that say anything about their case, do you think? Uh, it means to me that the state has filed a certificate of impairment saying we can't proceed any further without the evidence that we are appealing. And it does put a great deal of stress on their case to show why there was some sort of finding beyond a reasonable doubt with only this hearsay evidence. And it's very troubling because you don't have any direct evidence. You don't have any fingerprints, no DNA, no statements, you know, no this eyewitnesses. Is it, really. this is the you have hearsay evidence. And as you as a juror, you have to sit back and think, are you willing to convict somebody based on hearsay evidence that you can't cross-examine? Right. We shall see on that one. Now on to our former governor, Rob Blagojevich. <laughs> These tapes in ta that were played in court uh, paint a pretty interesting picture of him. Let's listen to one of the installments from just this past week. I f***ing busted my ass and pissed people off and I gave your grandmother a free f***ing ride on a bus. Okay? I gave your f***ing baby a chance to have health care. And what do I get for that? Only 13% of y'all out there think I'm doing a good job. So f*** all of you. Ouch. How damaging is this? kind of evidence, or is it just kind of titillating and sensational? Well, obviously that's going to offend the jury, And but during the course of this, we've heard several expletives that have come out of the mouths of not only the governor, but various people surrounding him. Mm -hmm. um, it's more, I think, aggravating for the governor. I don't know whether or not it's going to put them over the top, but to surmise as to whether or not these sort of tapes, um, a particular tape, is going to you know, somehow let the jury or put the jury over the edge, we'll find that out when they end up ruling, when they end up coming to their verdict. Sure. I think the mass of this, there is no smoking gun in this case. There's no tape of, you know, Bogoyevich saying to someone, give me the money and I'll point you to this position, or give me the money and we'll do it. It is a mass of tapes and it is a sea of circumstantial evidence that the defendant has to overcome. And that sea of evidence is what the government is depending on for their case. It is not so much just a beachhead, but more like islands out in the middle <laughs> of, of the sea that you have to right, stop on each right. island and defend against, and right. it makes it very difficult for the defense. Well, what do you think so far of the government's case? They say that they're probably going to wrap next week, so mm -hmm. what do you think? 
I think the government has presented a very compelling case. We obviously have been promised by the defense counsel that we are going to hear from Patty and we're going to hear from the government, mm -hmm. and, or excuse governor, me, from former the governor. former governor. And I think that we are going to hear some uh, very titillating testimony, as you put it. Mm -hmm. But it, we have yet to see how that's going to influence the jury and whether or not he can explain away all these incidences. Is this just political horse trading or have I really committed a crime? We'll see. He certainly knows how to talk. We know that. <laughs> All right, Tom, thanks so much. Appreciate Thank you it. very much. Great insight for us.